Western and Third in downtown Central City. And that blur? That's me on my way to it. I'm going 352 miles an hour, and it's a slow day. This is ladder 52. We're still at least two minutes out. People are going to die in there. I know. Barry? Barry! What? Did I miss it? You overshot by about six blocks. My bad. Paige! My daughter! Is anyone see my daughter? Paige! You there yet? What are you doing? Nothing. Who are you talking to? No one. Are you talking to Barry? Who? Barry Allen, struck by lightning, was in a coma for nine months, woke up being able to run faster than the speed of sound. Ring a bell? No, haven't talked to him. Cisco, there's fire everywhere! Cisco, are you still there? Everybody's out. What else you got for me, Cisco? Barry, it's Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. How's your day? Get back to Star Labs now. On my way. <sighs> Have you both lost your minds? Who do you think you are? Well, I'm the eyes and ears, and he's the feet. This isn't funny. You could have gotten yourself killed. You can't be running around the city like some supersonic fireman. Why not? This is what we talked about, me using my speed to do good. We talked about you helping us contain other people who might have been affected by the particle accelerator explosion. Metahumans. And aside from Clyde Martin, we haven't found any. People in this city still need help. And I can help them. We can help them. Will you please say something? I think what Caitlin is saying, in her own spectacularly angry way, is that we are just beginning to understand what your body is capable of. Not to sound like a broken record, Mr. Allen, I do caution restraint. Dr. Wells, I doubt restraint is how you got to be the man you are today. In a wheelchair and a pariah, lack of restraint is what made me these things. Know your limits. Don't expect me to patch you up every time you break something. <laughs>